I don't know if you can say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. I don't know if I can. Can I do it this way? I don't know. The growing pains <laughs> I've never of doing really, a Facebook Live for the I've first time. I've never really done this before. I, hey. I feel like I need to keep it this way. I'm going to keep okay. it this way. Okay. Then I'll okay. casually <laughs> lean. Okay. I'm going to keep it this I'm gonna way. I'm going to casually lean into my um, sister. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. I'm here. Uh, we've never really done this before. This so is really fun. Super fun. We're in the valley. We're actually down the street from where we shot Valentine. And where we grew up. And where we grew up. Um, I see, get in there. I I'm in. I miss your I'm face. I'm in. I miss your face. Hi. Um, your friend center, dude. Friend center. Um, we just wanted to come on here and answer your questions about Valentine because we are so excited that it's out it's in the out. world. It's out in the world. It's out in the world. And we've held on to it for a little bit because, I mean, as you said, as we said um, on our Twitter as you do, um, <laughs> that we wanted to keep it kind of close to our hearts until you guys could kind of like, someone just dropped their keys. Um, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> um, so, so much, so many things are happening in the Valley. I know. Um, so we wanted to wait until you guys kind of digested our record, something to tell you before we showed you Valentine. And now it's out. And we're so excited. We uh, shot it with Paul Thomas Anderson. Shout out, Paul. We love Shout you. Out Shout Paul. out, Paul. We owe you our lives. You are the best, the greatest. Um, and it really was just one day in the Valley at Valentine Studios. And um, now we're going to answer. I know you guys sent in questions yesterday. So we're going to answer some of those. But if you have more questions, feel free to uh, comment because you can do I that. Full disclosure, just, I just Danielle totally just knocked just... Estee in the face. So, As you do. Sisters. My jaw just stopped working. Um, all right, do you have some questions? I have some questions. Okay, Andrea Harris. Question number one. Question number one. Here we go. Andrea Harris says, why did you choose to film those three songs out of the whole album? Well, um, those were the songs that we were working on at that point of time. I think, you know, we... Uh, talked to Paul and we were we wanted to do something we were, we were like in the middle to end stages of the record and we obviously wanted to do something with him and he had expressed a lot of interest in doing some type of video with us and once we got together and he came to the studio it was we were trying to figure out should we do a video it was kind of too early to tell and he was about to go film his new movie um, so we just decided what are you guys doing right now? Like, what songs are you working on right now? Let's just film the process, film you guys right now, in the right studio. Now. Right, now. <laughs> right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Um. So yeah, those were the songs that we were in the studio making at that time. So it wasn't really, we didn't really think about it. We were just like, well, these are the songs that we're doing, and um. So yeah, that's how that came. That out. was a great question. Thank I can't see. How do you see? <laughs> I feel like I'm my mom. <laughs> like, well, I've never used this. I, I honestly feel I like... I know, I'm trying to How out. do you see the comments? I feel like y'all are commenting, and I can't see... This is. I'm going to be so embarrassed when this replays. <laughs> this is just what it is. Um, um, okay. Wait, scroll down. I'm, I can't... It's scroll just saying... It's literally just saying that there's a bunch of comments, but I can't look at them. We'll figure it out. We'll you guys, out. help! Send help! <laughs> um... What's another question? Okay, Danielle? another question. Wait for it. Maybe what was it like filming and recording in Valentine, and what made you guys choose Valentine Studios to record in? That's from Anna Mack. Um, Are you related to Alex Mack? <laughs> I love that show. I love that show. It's a good show. If you're related to Alex Mack, that's it. Um, Thumbs up. What was it like filming? Well, Valentine, the studio, it's a studio in the valley. And I think it was built in the 30s, and in the 40s they recorded a lot of jazz music. Um, and it's really, I mean, it was totally different apparently in the 40s. It looked totally different. And then throughout the 50s they still kind of recorded jazz. And in the 60s that's when, you know, the rise of rock happened. 
They recorded um, the Beach Boys too. They did, and they, and which was amazing. I feel like I'm like the annoying. I know. Dog. No, there's photos too. There's some photos of like the Beach Boys recording in there. I swear there were other cool people <laughs> that recorded there. I feel like this is Danielle's live video, and yeah, then you I and know. me are just like, hey, we're the hype men. <laughs> hey, um, but uh, you know, during the '60s, they I think from what I understand is the owner of the studio didn't really love rock music um so he just shut down the studio sealed it and sealed it it's kind of just been frozen (laughs) in time um until i think two years ago and growing up we'd always hear that there was a studio down the street but nobody knew where it was and it was this valentine recording studio but nobody knew where it was and they i think his grandkids decided to, to open it to reopen it so the board is from the 60s and Obviously, all the accoutrements inside. You can, it's super mid-century inside, as you guys could see from the from the video. Um, and yeah, so um, when, once we went in there to visit it, we just I literally we did the whole like clap. Yeah, the clap test. The snap, yeah, the snap, snap test. test to see if how the acoustics sounded. Um, and once we started to record in there, we were just like, holy shit, this sounds incredible. Um, and it was kind of a no-brainer because it was right down the street from where we lived. And, and we showed, and when Paul came to the studio, he was like, oh, my God, this looks amazing. This is so cool. So, um, yeah, everything just kind of worked out. And we recorded live to tape. They have an amazing tape machine there. Um, and, yeah, that's why we decided to just do it in that studio. Yeah. And we recorded, there were some other studios that we recorded in, but that was kind of our favorite. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. That's the story. Morning glory. Um, okay, we there's another it. question. Leela Fredrickson asks, was it difficult to shoot on film with one take? Um, and it wasn't difficult. It's not, it's not difficult. I mean, there was, was no playback or anything, so we couldn't really see what we necessarily look like, and that's something that we've, we've seen with digital and and. Whenever we do a video, usually there's like a little, you can see what you look like. But but I think honestly, the thing going through our heads the whole time though was don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah. And then I didn't. <laughs> I fucked up a couple times. Yeah, there, was, okay. there were some different takes. It's live. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck up when you play live. That's just what it is. But I um, think that's also what we wanted to showcase with these, um, with these little, you know, music videos or whatever you want to call them. I think we just wanted it to be... It's a rock dog. It's, ro- <laughs> it's just your one of the little... Um, yeah, so... Yeah, film, it was awesome. That was the first time we were fortunate enough to use film because we had never done that before, and obviously it looks amazing, and the quality, it's just... You, there's nothing better, I yeah. think. True. Um, but yeah, and then we recorded to tape, too, so it was all very analog. So As cool. they say in the Indo. In the Indo. In the Indo. <laughs> um, let's look for another question. Shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking. I um, see. Oh wait, here this ooh, one goes to you, Louisa, Louisa Lindsay. Lindsay. What's, what's your, your favorite, favorite Paul PT? Thomas Anderson movie? Ooh, that's what's so What's your hard. favorite movie, mm. SD? It's like Sophie's Choice. How do I even choose? Um, I think my favorite one, I think my favorite one's Magnolia. Ooh. I gotta say Boogie Nights. Dude, there will be blood. What can I say? All different. All different. They Actually, match our personalities, though. I think my favorite one's Valentine. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Um, but not no, your favorite. I think, I just, I think the thing about Paul, I think that, <clears throat> obviously, I think He's one of the most amazing directors of all time. But I think the, obviously the connection that we have with him is he's a fellow Valley kid. And we rep the Valley pretty damn hard. And so does he. Everything from Boogie Nights to Magnolia. I mean, we grew up two streets away from Magnolia Street. It's like a main artery of the Valley. And Valentine is a block away from Magnolia. So a lot of idiosyncratic shit going on when it comes to uh, Valentine and Paul and us, so. Right. But thank you for the question. Nice. Okay, we got one. Oh, just. 
Uh, we got one from Caitlin Whiteside. I know you, Bill. What's up, Bill? Caitlin! Um, kind of nerdy question. No, there are no nerdy questions. No, ner- no such thing. No such thing. Um, the question is, at what point in the process did you decide to add, it was good, but now it's gone, um, part in nothing's wrong. I notice it's not in the Valentine version. version. Um, that's actually my favorite part of Valentine is that, uh, when we recorded Valentine, there, that part didn't exist. Um, and it really just shows where we were in the process of the record, that we were still in the experimental stage of um, writing and recording. When we when we're recording, we're always trying to come up with different parts, and um, nothing is set in stone. I think we always love. I mean, I know that's the case for a lot of artists, but yeah, we love experimenting and writing different parts. And I think for the chorus, um, it just felt like a little too repetitive, so we wanted to switch it up. We're always tweaking. Always trying to make it always better, tweaking. and it ended up being better. Yeah. And so now that's what we do. That's what we did on the record and on the live uh, show. All right, should we do one day one we'll question? release the the demo versions <laughs> of all of these songs. Oh my god, so many different demos, so many different incarnations of our demos. I mean, if you talk about nerdy, our demos <laughs> are super nerdy. Um, okay, beep boop up. So many questions. So many questions. Oh, okay. This one's a good one. Okay, Felix Wood. This is our last question since I can't figure out how to fucking go to, like, Facebook. Knock, knock, Facebook. (laughs) Shit is not. I'm only 25 and I can't fucking figure this shit out. Um, Excuse me. Sinus infection. Um, Felix Wood. (laughs) I know. I keep it real. I keep it real. Oh um, Felix Wood, will we ever get a music video for Little of Your Love? Good I think question. we can officially say yes. yes. And it's coming very, 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 very soon. Sooner than you think. Sooner than you think. Um, but we're really excited to release that music video. We also did that music video with Paul. So we're very excited. You heard it here first. It's very. It's coming very, very soon. Very soon. Um, and we're just excited that you guys now kind of saw us in the studio. And that's really what happens. That's really, we're all just, we all literally get into a room, look at each other, and hope to God that it all works out. And that really is what it is. And um, we had so much fun working on this project. And now that it's out, it kind of feels like I gave birth a second time. <laughs> Something to tell you was a baby, and Valentine was another baby. And um, um, yeah, we're just stoked that you guys got to see what we've been doing for the last years. I'm stoked that you guys got to see me in a top knot. Yeah. <laughs> top knot and slides. Top knot and slides. Top knot and slides. You killed Top notch, me. top knot. Top and notch, slides. top knot <laughs> and slides. You will never um, see me like that ever again. Um, <laughs> but we love you guys so much and there's new stuff coming and we're going to go on tour and we're so excited and we're going to play more new songs, more new stuff on our show and it's just kind of, it's time time. The time, time, nice and we're one. really, I nice got to one. fit it in. Um, and we're just really excited, and thank you guys for tuning in. So many people tuned in. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. We love, um, we love you. And thank you for your questions, everybody that submitted. Um, go watch Valentine. It's on fucking Vivo. Why Why not? Do what it. is it, like, Tuesday? Do, do it. it. What else would you do on a Tuesday? Um, watch Valentine. We love you guys. Bye.